Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, as a follow-up to everyone's comments uh, regarding the ACCG and Todd being here and Representative Levin's award, I just want to thank the entire commission for all the heavy lifting through the SDS process. Um, and while Walter was keeping, keeping uh, things going in the background with the legal recommendations, there were numerous drafts that all of you spent a lot of time going through and asking questions, and there was a lot of heavy lifting and time that you all committed to that process. And I think that when local government is able to do that and our state partners are engaged and everyone, as Representative Levin said, keeps the entire community at the forefront of what's best for everyone, then great things happen. And the SDS update is, is an example of that. So I just want to thank you all individually for everything that you all did. I know the chairman and I were points of contact. Walter, again, was working on the legal. Um, but, but probably only I know how many drafts you all went through and there were, you know, late night emails back and, and all of those things. So thank you for everything that you did to keep that process moving forward as well. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow from 11.30 to 1, we will be hosting a CASA Lunch and Learn at Quiet Pines. You all are aware that we already have CASA representatives that are going through the training process. That program has really exploded over the last year thanks to good leadership. Commissioner Evans continued oversight there. So if you're interested in learning more particularly about CASA, there's a Lunch and Learn tomorrow from 11 to 1.30 at Quiet Pines. On Thursday, <clears throat> uh, we will kick off our inaugural event at the green space created on the old Griner property next door with the Chamber of Commerce's current cornhole tournament. Um, registration begins at 5 o'clock and the first packs will be thrown at 5.30. Uh, there will be food trucks and this is a professionally run tournament so if any of you would like to experience that firsthand, uh, we have some staff that's participating. Um, I will be there so come out and spend some time with us Thursday evening. Um, then following that, uh, Friday morning at 7.30, the United Way will kick off their day of caring at Unity Park so you're certainly invited to that kickoff as well. Then on Saturday, uh, Wild Adventures is hosting Habitat for Humanity Day. We will have a proclamation from the county, and that uh, ceremony is from 11.30 to 1. If you'd like more information on that, please let me know. Then on Tuesday, May the 21st at 10 a.m., the LPRA will be cutting the ribbon on our first public pickleball courts here in Lowndes County, which is very exciting. On Wednesday, May the 22nd, our annual hurricane briefing will be held from 10 to 11.30 at the historic courthouse under the leadership of Mr. Ashley Ty, and then our friend Kelly Godsey from the National Weather Service in Tallahassee. <clears throat> we have um, two bags that we have provided for you. Um, our departments are all collecting canned goods um, for COLA during the month of May, and we will um, give them to them the, the first of the month in, in June, and then they will give us those bags back, and we will do it all over again in June. So if any of you have any Sunday school classes or civic groups or just your home personally that you would like for us to um, help, and you would like to help us collect food for COLA, um, we're looking for those non-perishable items. And then you have a second bag. Um, Ms. Gail Finley called and reached out and asked about having um, a public event to hand out hygiene items at the DFACS or the Human Resources Building in June. And so our departments are also collecting basic hygiene items. Um, so your second bag is for that if you would like to participate with our departments as well in those two drives. And then the flags will be at half staff tomorrow in, um, in uh, recognition and remembrance of Peace Officers Memorial Day. So if any of you need any additional question about, questions about these events, um, please let me know. I'd like to thank all of our staff that's involved in planning them. Um, these things don't go off with, without a lot of, of planning and preparation there. And thank you all for allowing us to not just serve our community, but participate as well. That concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Dukes? All right, we'll move on.